There are certain things about computers and computer components that very few people think about. For example, there's a free app called IO Graph that turns your mouse movement into images that may easily show miles and miles of mouse cursor movement. It's really fascinating to realize the distances that little arrow on your screen can cross, but whoever thinks about that? On the box for this Logitech keyboard I recently purchased, there's a description that says durable keys that last up to 10 million keystrokes and a footnote which adds excludes numlock key. Okay, now be honest, how many times have you really stopped to think about the number of keystrokes your keyboard can take? Not that often, right? But it got me thinking, how many keystrokes and clicks do we make or how far does our mouse cursor travel in let's say one year's time? For all I can guess, it's probably a lot, but who's counting, right? Well, you could. There's an app called Mousetron that not only counts the number of keystrokes and clicks you make, it lets you know exactly how many left clicks you made, how many right clicks, and how many of those were double clicks. It also measures the distance your cursor travels, as well as the exact speed it's traveling at. In order to track your cursor, the application automatically detects your screen resolution and requires you to manually enter the size of your monitor in inches. Another option that it offers for its more enthusiastic users is the ability to send their results to an online scoreboard where they can compare their stats to those of other users. On the day that I was researching for this video, the top result for cursor movement distance was 12,160 miles or 19,569 kilometers. Just in case you can't actually visualize how big of a distance that is, here's something that will put it into perspective. Imagine that this particular mouse cursor had a starting point in LA, California and had to move east from there. It could travel from LA to Zagreb, Croatia and then all the way to Tokyo, Japan before it would cross that distance and it would still have more than enough kilometers to spare. That's a fascinating distance to cross within the boundaries of a monitor screen, but also rather unrealistic, especially if you look at the other top results. In second place, we have a distance of quote-unquote only 3,911 miles, which is equal to 6,294 kilometers, and upcoming results appear exponentially smaller. Whether the top result was pumped up, or if it indeed is the result of some enthusiast's legitimate computer activities, it really can't be taken as a realistic representation of how much a mouse cursor really travels. You see, one problem with the Mousetron online results is that they don't show the time span in which they were gathered, and they also don't offer averages. There's a similar application called WhatPulse that also tracks things like keystrokes and mouse clicks, as well as some other things like network activity and what apps you use the most. It doesn't really track how much your cursor travels, but it does have a heat map that shows what regions of the screen you click on the most. WhatPulse also offers users to submit their stats online and even compete with other users in teams. By taking into consideration the results as well as the date a particular user registered, you're able to calculate an average, but just like in the case of Mousetron results, there really isn't any way of telling if they're pumped up or indeed legit. Whether we're talking about the average number of keystrokes and mouse clicks, or the average distance a mouse cursor travels in any particular time span, the information you can find online or in any studies will always have a significant dose of bias. But nevertheless, they can give us an idea on the numbers we could and probably do reach, maybe even surpass. For example, one study suggests that you can easily travel around 100 kilometers a year with your mouse. However, it doesn't really make clear how this conclusion came to be, or if it's referring to the movement of a physical mouse, or the cursor it directs. The same study suggests that we can easily make more than 2 million clicks in a working year, but one can imagine how that's probably nothing compared to the amount of times a hardcore gamer clicks during the course of a year. The average for data entry in the United States is approximately 8,000 keystrokes per hour, which builds up to an average of 60 million keystrokes in a working year, or something less if you count out vacation days. 
But of course, that doesn't mean that the average office worker really does type that much every single hour. On the other hand, for others, that number may easily be nothing. Different people have different results. With all these numbers, we do get a picture on what is possible, but I still want to know, how do I fit in the picture? Well, by using Mousetron, I'll have my exact stats by this time next year. But even though it's been just a few days that I've been using the app, I can still make a rough estimate. By taking the stats you can see on screen and dividing them by 3, which is the exact number of days I've been using the app, I can estimate that in one year's time, I will make a total of 602,493 mouse clicks, 1,447,590 keystrokes, and my mouse cursor will travel 130 kilometers. It doesn't seem like much, but these are only stats for my home desktop. Unfortunately, I'm not able to install these tracking apps at work where I spend far more time working on a computer. Now, even though I am a little disappointed with the estimate for my mouse cursor distance, if I really do complete only 130 kilometers, it would be enough for my cursor to travel from my hometown of Mostar all the way to the Croatian island of Vis. If you're interested in measuring your own mouse and keyboard activity, the links for the apps mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Try them out and let me know what your own estimates are, and after a year's time, we can all report back. But that would be all for this time, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and share the video with your friends. For more similar content in the future, just hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong.